What is going on, Call of Duty fans? Here in about 30 minutes, the Season 5 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 is going to drop. And the patch notes got dropped probably about an hour ago from when I'm making this video, but decided I was going to run through the patch notes. I'm really going to run through the, the pictures, and I'm going to add little things here and there because I've tried to record this video a couple times, and it runs into the 20-minute time frame. So I'm just going to skip, skip through, go through the pictures, that type of thing and then leave the link for this down in the description if you want to go through and read and i'm kind of going to hit some of the highlights uh that i remember as to what is happening within season five that we've gotten in the patch notes so going through the battle pass really quick we got uh we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you get ten skins if you get the black cell as well if you don't get black cell, you get nine skins uh, this skin that you get in the black cell that you've probably seen already, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram through Call of Duty, is Arthur. There's not anything known about Arthur except for the fact that he is, that he has a dog named Merlin. This is Merlin. Uh, Merlin, cute, adorable. It's not going to pay $30 for him, but adorable. Uh, Merlin, though, is going to be by his side through, by the whatever character, his his or her side, through DMZ, Battle Royale, and multiplayer, it will be by your side. So to my understanding, it's not going to be a situation of you go to finishing move them with Merlin's custom finishing move, and he just appears out of nowhere and then disappears, right? that to my That's not going to be the situation anymore. So thank God for that. Uh, there's going to be audio cues that the animal gives, uh, maybe like a bark or a whimper when you're being looked at. I'm not sure if it's like a high alert situation where, where you're being looked at when you're not looking at them. Or whatever, what have you not. But if you get this, if you get Merlin, it sounds like you're going to have high alert. Even if you don't physically have it on, it won't pop up on the screen. But you got to listen for that audio cue from Merlin. Moving on, we get the bark and bite finishing move. This is kind of new. Not really understanding it though. We get Oz. Uh, when General Shepard asked him to take the lead of the Cyber Division, uh, it lead in Cyber Division for the new PMC group. Oz was ready to join Shadow Company as their new de facto leader. Oz uses both elite special operations tool sets and on the ground as well as his cyber warfare skills. Uh, Graves is back. If you haven't played the campaign, you're not going to understand this, but Graves says that he wasn't in the tank. So it's probably like he was controlling it remotely and then messing with them through the radio to get them going. So, Graves... Welcome back. Uh, you get Mila. Not anything really known about her. This guy, I think we all remember him. The OGs or whatever. Remember him from Modern Warfare 2019. You didn't play Modern Warfare 2019. You're not going to remember this guy, but welcome back. You, I played with him a little bit. Looks like you got a few little updates on him. Um, moving down. We got an event coming. I'm going to read and tell you about the event. You get rewards that you can see right here on the side. You get get 50 operator kills. You get an emblem. Get 10 long shot operator kills. You get a battle rifle sticker or loading screen or whatever. Then you get a vehicle skin for getting 40 ADS operator kills with an assault rifle and so on and so forth. And then you get stuff for both sides. It's really just about which one you prefer. But you, you can switch sides. As you, as you see, it says press X. Switch to Shadow Company. You do get the ability to switch back and forth. And get all the rewards if you want. Um, it says, choose Task Force 141 or Shadow Company. The faction with the most eliminations at the end of the event wins. Players can switch factions at any time during the event. Complete all five challenges for each faction to unlock a mystery reward for that faction. Completing all challenges for the winning faction earns additional rewards. Choose a side that fight until the last minute, get rewarded, and await further orders as the event concludes prior to the mid-season uh, of Season 5. This event kicks off on August 4th. Uh, so this talks about await further instructions, and this concludes the mid-season. That is more than likely when we're going to see the reveal from Modern Warfare uh, twenty or my bad, I excuse me. That's more than likely when we're going to see the reveal for Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2023. Uh, so, find the date for mid-season. That's when we'll get the reveal. More than likely. Don't take my word on it. Uh, 50 Years of Hip Hop. Call of Duty is celebrating that by giving us three new operators. That is Snoop Dogg, Nicki Minaj, and 21 Savage. Not really sure why 21 is 
is like blacked out, but hey, go off, right? Uh, jumping got a an a bu a buff really, if you want to call it that. Small increase in lateral velocity boost while jumping. Small reduction to landing slowdown penalty while landing. And then as you see, there's one for slide here. Sliding got a buff. Decrease slide time, increase slide velocity. You go shorter distance, but you go faster. And you can pop up and shoot a little bit quicker. Moving down, we got this new bullet rifle, which I believe has been in Call of Duties in the past. Uh, the way this reads, it says it has a high fire rate and exceptional mover, maneuverability in the right hands. Um, if that is true, I feel like this is going to be a problem, especially considering they took this out of ranked play. You cannot use this in Modern Warfare 2 ranked play, or I believe Warzone ranked play, can't remember, but you get this via the Battle Pass, as well as this new semi-auto bullet sniper rifle. You get this via the Battle Pass. I do believe this is a return weapon from Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 1. I do believe that this is a return weapon. I, if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, we got a new knife coming in. We got a few, we got a few nerfs, a few buffs. Uh, I think this is really a balance for the rap. Uh, Chamara got a buff. M13 got a buff, a small buff for the both of those. Uh, Cronus Squall got nerfed into the ground. HCR got nerfed. Uh, Ral got buffed. MX9 got buffed. Minbink got nerfed, kind of, kind of balanced, kind of nerfed. It, it's in between. Uh, Lockman, the MP5, got a nerf per expectations. Um, the Vel 46 neck multiplier got increased. Upper torso got increased. And lower torso multipliers all got increased. The Bass P got a buff uh, as far as multi multipliers go. The Finnick got a buff as well. Uh, reduced damage from drill charges when players are stuck with them. Uh, the way this this doesn't read the way that it's supposed to. S sorry about that. Uh, but it doesn't read the way it's supposed to. Uh, bomb squad will now protect against death from explosive equipment stuck directly uh, to a player when fully armored in Warzone only. So if you're running in Warzone, somebody sticks you with a drill charge or a Simtex, you're not going to die. Be glad. I don't really think a Simtex killed you to begin with, but I could be wrong. I haven't been stuck a whole lot. Uh, added visual cues for quick fix when somebody is attacking you and they have quick fix active. Uh, entering an objective with quick fix equipped will now visually show when the health regeneration effect is active. Uh, moving on. We got new UI, UX, whatever. It's kind of, they're moving away from the Netflix style looking thing. Thank God it was horrible. Not really sure what the thought process was there, but it was horrible. I like this a lot better than what we did have. This looks a lot better. This comes out at the start of the new season. Skin carousel added a skin care added a carousel that allows players to change the skin uh, when searching for a match. Uh, got a new vehicle. This vehicle has a grenade turret in the front. As you see, it's a behemoth, man. This thing's huge, uh, and it has a machine gun turret in the back that we can't see. And then you got this BMX uh, kind of bike that we see up here with odds going over top of that. Some nice little visual stuff for you guys. We're going to skip all these because there's nothing really notable in this. Uh, this is a new echo mode. that It's it's really just a power saving mode. Is eco mode. I'm sorry. It's really just a power saving thing that restricts uh, your, your hertz. Uh, and your 3D resolution. Not sure why anybody would do that. Maybe for performance or something. But not that will not be me doing it. We got two new 6v6 maps. Just based off of visuals. I like this first one first. This one says Punta Mar is a recently evacuated tourist attraction in Las Almas. The rumored, uh, war, the, war, the rumored new map for Warzone 3. Or just new map in general. Uh, once a busting town on a hill overlooking a beautiful South American beach, prepared to fight up and down that hill, maneuvering throughout the shops, across rooftops, and through abandoned residences. I like this one. Just based off reading that, I like this one. Now this one, don't like it. 
just I don't. Sorry, I don't like it. We're gonna move on. We got a new gunfight map in Lounge. This compact map for gunfight and other small squad modes takes place in a high scale, high octane club. Uh, that it looks cool. I don't really play gunfight, but it looks cool. This one, you'll have to remind me the name, but it reminds me of the ship, the shipyard stuff gunfight map for modern warfare 2019 is what this reminds me of but that is from the map vondel uh moving on we got a new playlist we got havoc as a new game mode big capture uh ca or big capture the flag is coming back uh gunfight variants is back we got some new bug fixes and other things again i'm gonna leave the link for this down in the description down below we're gonna skip all that uh modern warfare 2 ranked play really all that's happening the new the two new guns are restricted that could mean that they're overpowered or it could mean that they just don't want to put them in uh the tempest razorback is added back the iso 45 is added back the mx guardian is added back uh melee weapon is added and a new underbarrel has been added uh bronze through crimson one players get set back three tiers after the season finishes Crimson two and above only gets set back to they get set back to Diamond One. So if you get the iridescent, you get sent back to Diamond One. Sorry about it. Uh, tells you about the the new uh, win rewards. Five wins you get a, a weapon sticker. Ten wins you get a pro a pro reissue tac fifty six. <clears throat> uh, Twenty five wins you get a big brain plays weapon charm and fifty you get a heating up large weapon decal. <clears throat> and then seventy five wins you get a loading screen and a hundred you get a veteran weapon camo. Instead of reading all this for you guys, basically what that is about to tell you is that it in the new season, you get new rewards, right? Per every season, along with your skins and your weapon stickers and all that. Now you're getting weapon camos. If you, I believe if you finish in gold or higher, you're going to get a weapon camo based off of what division you finish in. The weapon camos visually aren't that great, but it's a new reward for us. The only one that's actually worth anything is the ones that finish top 250, and you'll see that here in a second. This is the weapon camo for finishing top 250. It is uh, reactive, kind of. It, it moves around. It's kind of like the it's animated. There we go. That's the word I was searching for. Moving on. New priority. Ping priority for stacked icons. Uh, this is your new playlist for the start of the season moving on fort fortress from al mazra has been made into a uh, resurgence map don't like that idea idea but i don't make the game uh we're skipping all this because this is a bunch of nothing really uh buy stations you can buy reinforcement flares uh, and a prd uh prd is two thousand dollars you get two of them Reinforcement flare, you get one of them for 5k. Uh, Self-revive kit, 4k. Durable gas mask, 3.5k. Keep moving on. Don't really think there's anything crazy uh, in this. Circle size decreased uh, for the initial circle. Um, Warzone ranked play, you get new rewards. It's the same thing, essentially. Uh, literally the same thing as multiplayer except for this sr skill rating and divisions uh the rewards for placement have been up thank god top 40 you get 15 top 30 you get 30 top 20 you get 45 top 10 you get 60 sr top 5 you get uh 80 sr 3 is 100 second is 125 and winning you get 150 sr and the spots that it went up from is down here on the right hand side of those numbers um finish in the top 15 25 times you get a popped off large decal finish top 5 25 times you get a pro reissue iso hemlock blueprint uh finish first place you get a straight dubs weapon charm uh kill and assist challenges you get 25 kills or assist in warzone season 5 you get a competitor sticker and then you get 250 kills or assists. You get a Warzone ranked play season five loading screen. And then if you get a thousand, you get a Warzone season five ranked veteran camo. I do believe that's it. That is it. I do believe. 
I don't really play DMZ, so I'm, I don't really understand any of that. But that is it for your patch notes. If y'all stayed for this end of the video, I want to I want to say thank you for sit, sitting to this this end of the video with all my stuttering, me trying to read through this really quick. But I want to give a big shout out to Rogue Energy. They're a healthy alternative energy drink company, kind of like what G Fuel is, but in my opinion, they're way better. If you want to try them out or at least go give them a look, I'm going to leave the link for that down in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure you use promo code Huntsman at checkout. And I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoy season five. Peace.